Glory. It's Romania versus Brazil. Out of Gui, 32. Tuto Innocent is 31. And the height advantage. He is three inches taller and has an inch and a half reach advantage, does Benjamin Adegui. Taking a look at that professional experience, it's Gudo that has more of the professional experience, but it's Adek Bui who's been the number one contender for some time and has fought the top in the division in glory in the most recent time. Fight metrics, they tell this story. Knockdown ratio, seven to one. That is impressive by Adek Bui. As for Guto Innocent, he has one knockout, Joe, but it was the knockout of the year. Yeah, and he's just so explosive, and what makes Guto is he'll keep mixing it up, but let's take a look at the scoring for this fight. Three judges in New York will be scoring the belt using the 10-point must system. Scoring is based on knockdowns, damage, clean scoring strikes, with an emphasis on spectacular technique, which include those spinning flash kick that Gudo likes to throw. And finally, if there's no clear advantage, judges are looking at aggressiveness. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. Three rounds in the glory heavyweight division between a self-described thug kickboxer from the streets of Brazil and a Romanian gentleman who both desperately want to wear a glory championship belt. This belt sanctioned by the World Kickboxing Association and at the bell, your referee is Chris Wagner. From Manhattan to Manila, the world's kickboxing fans are tuned in around the world. It's time for glory! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, a five-time Brazilian champion who took knockout of the year honors in 2016. His professional record, 33 wins, eight losses, 17 of those wins by knockout. He stands six feet three inches tall, 1.91 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 256 pounds, 116.1 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Brasilia, Brazil, ladies and gentlemen, here is Guto Inocente. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner, a two-time contender tournament champion. Comes in tonight on a three-fight winning streak. His professional record, 28 wins with four losses. 16 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet, six inches tall, 1.98 meters. And he weighed in at 254 and one half pounds, 115.4 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Romania, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Gentleman, Benjamin Adegbui. And your referee for this contest is Chris Wagner. Right here. All right, gentlemen, went over the rules in the dress room. One nice, clean fight. Be my commands at all times. In case of a knockdown, go to the neutral corner I tell you to go to. Remain that till I call you out. Any questions over here? Any questions over here? Fight fair, fight hard. Touch gloves. Back it off. According to Nick Kalikas at Judge. MMA Odds Breaker, Judge. Benjamin Adegbui is closed at a 12 to 1 favorite over Guto Inesic. Surprised the odds are that big, Joe? Yeah, I am, because you got to think, Guto only has one loss in glory. He's got the potential to knock anyone out with his kicks. But Attic Bui right away putting pressure on Gudo. So that's the strategy against the dynamic kicker that wants to throw. Oh! Almost had a double knockdown. Guto Innocent got the worst of it, though. And now Attic Bui trying to close him out early. Yeah, he's putting the pressure on right away. But this is not boxing. You can't hold on and clinch to try and collect yourself. You got to keep going. What a start to this fight. Attic Bowie, six foot six, 254 pounds. And again, when Guto goes to throw that left hook, his right hand is down, and Attic Bowie connects. See, Attic Bowie staying right close. He doesn't want Guto to be able to utilize his kicks. So that's where Guto's going to have to use his boxing a little bit more, and that's why he's trying to load up that left hook. 
Well, Gudo's getting his shots in as well. He's doing well when he throws in combinations. You saw him throwing the one, two, three low kick. That seemed to be landing well for him. But he definitely needs to watch out for the counter punching of Attic Bui. Attic Bui simply did not look like himself at times in his last fight against Anderson Braddock Silva. He already looks much better tonight. He's keeping calm, he's keeping relaxed, that is boy. That's where that efficiency comes. Controlling the center of the ring, keeping Guto against the ropes. And Guto cannot afford to be a stationary target. No, he's got to stay away from those corners, keep moving his footwork. And when he throws, I like when he throws in combinations like that. But he's finding success with that right low kick, Guto, so he's got to keep going there. Bowie trying to go upstairs. But Gudo having more success now against Attic Bowie than he did in his last fight against Jamal Big Ben City. Yeah, there wasn't much activity. Oh, that left hand connected. Yeah, in that last fight with Gudo and, and Jamal Ben Sadiq, there wasn't much activity. Gudo definitely threw more now than he did in that whole fight. Guto's had more output and has landed more strikes, but it was that big strike early in the round that the judges will certainly be thinking about. Yeah, it comes down to damage. Remember, you can land a lot, but the fighter who does the most damage in the round is gonna win. There's no knockdowns, who's doing more damage? A spinning back fist to end the round, which was a very entertaining one here in the heavyweight division. Benjamin Attic Bowie, 18 of 32. Innocent, 29 of 67, Joe. Let's take a look at what happened early on in that round. Both guys loaded up the left oh. hook. Wow, close to a double knockdown, but it's definitely Attic Bowie who got the better of those left hook exchanges. Both guys with a lot of power. Man, boom! And you know, if Guto hadn't lost his footing and it stood there, it would have been pretty much a, a tie with those shots. Dang. Gui landed a split second earlier. Yeah, and that was the biggest difference, that slight timing difference. But that shot definitely kind of rocked Adegui as well, so keep 11, up with those combinations. 11 more strikes landed for Guto. Who do you give round one to? Well, I still think it comes down to damage, and based on damage, ring control, and aggression, I'm going to go with Adegui. Two rounds left. Attic Bowie going upstairs with a high kick. But you have to be confident if you're a Guto fan. He took Attic Bowie's best shot, and he's still coming back for more. But Guto's having to use a lot of energy to throw when he lands, where he has to try to move around, set his feet, and then he tries to throw combinations. It's a very exhausting style. Well, he is in the best shape of his life. And he's going right after Attic Bowie, backing the big fella up. And look at this. A good start to round two for the Brazilian. And I keep waiting for Guto. Oh, and Attic Bowie's on wobbly legs. Guto going in for the kill. This would be the biggest win of his career. Guto just has been throwing nonstop for this minute. Adam Bowie in real trouble. He's holding on. And there may be a point deduction here. They're going right back at it. Here comes Guto charging in again. Attic, Attic Bowie still not right. His feet are not under him, ladies and gentlemen. A 12 to 1 underdog is Guto Inesich. Spinning heel kick to the leg. Got to be above the knee, can't be on the knee. Can Guto take advantage of a wobbly Benjamin Adek Bowie? We've seen literally two minutes of non-stop Guto coming forward. And another shot landed by Innocent. Great, clean. But Did Guto punch himself out? He's been throwing non-stop in this second round, Joe. 
So the power is definitely slowed down. Had a boy landing a quick counter right hand. Guto with his mouth agape right now, taking some deep breaths. He's taking a lot of low kicks, and he's giving some back now. What a fight this has been. Not quite the fight we expected, was it, Joe? Definitely not. And now Attic Bowie appears to be, at least for the moment, okay. And Joe, sometimes when Guto lines up those that spinning attack, it's telegraphed. We can see it coming two seconds before he throws it. But what he likes to do is he likes to change the height of that kick. So just when he think it goes high, he'll throw that spin kick to the leg, and then he'll miss it. What a round for Guto Innocent, who looks exhausted now. Well, that first round was pretty close, pretty tight round, but that second round's going to Guto. So you're going to probably see a lot of urgency from Attic Bui in this third round. But let's see if Guto has what it takes to keep pushing. Guto was really trying to hit that body, but it was that nice left hook on the inside. And the reason he landed that shot is because he sets it up to the body, trying to bring those elbows of Attic Bui down to open up those head shots. But this round was all Guto. Literally throws non-stop for the whole three minutes. Body, body, head, trying to mix up levels. Last round, last round. Let's see if he can match this output in this third round. Last round. Straight right hand on the button. Second go. Attic Bowie took some hellacious Ow. shots in that Ow. second round, but did not go down. And he's already in the center of the ring, Coach ready to go. How go much go gas corner. is in the go tank in. for Guto Innocent? Right. Round three, three minutes to go in our heavyweight main event, and it has been a, con a very fantastic show or display by both of these heavyweights. So, Joe, what's your message now to Guto Inesic? Well, that first round is definitely close, and I gave the advantage to Attic Boy. Second round is definitely going to Guto. So if, if I'm Guto, he's got to try to match that pressure. He seems to be doing the best when he's pressuring. If he waits and lets Adek Bui land his low kicks, set up his straight punches, that's going to be a tough night for him. Another, sorry, another right hand landed there for Guto. But you can see hands are at the hips now. The output not nearly what it was. As far as total strikes landed, Guto 75, Benjamin Adek Bui just 40. And he's thrown more than double as well. Boy, Gudo is really tired right now, calling Attic Bowie in. There's your head punches. 41 for Innocent, 16 for Attic Bowie. And you know, I could totally see a judge scoring round one for Guto just based on strikes landed. So Attic Bowie may need a finish here. I like when Attic Bowie's using his kicks. When he stays outside a little bit more, mixes levels, Stop, break. he's found a lot of damage with his low kick. And in this third round, he Fight. hasn't really thrown many of those low kicks. Oh, and Guto stood right in the line of fire. He's not moving like he once was. That, that jab of Attic Bowie is doing really well. Making it very difficult for Guto to try to get on the inside and land those body punches. Fight. Big Boy returning the favor with body punches of his own. One minute to go, and Guto Innocent is in trouble. His hands are down by his waist. He's exhausted. He's not fighting back. Trying to stay away from the right hand, and he couldn't there. He got wobbled. Ate a jab. Attic Bowie being patient now. This is almost a similar fight we saw with Anderson Roddick Silva. Silva did well in the first two rounds. Attic Bui ended up getting a last minute knockdown with the low kicks. And these may be the 30, these will be the longest 30 seconds of Guto's career. And you gotta think, this is very close. This could easily go an extra round. Look at Guto Innocent's body language. He needs an oxygen, oxygen tank. Stop. But he's gonna survive the third round or so it seems. Did he win the first two? Cause surely he didn't win the third. 
Big no. right hand from Attic Boy. And the bell rings. A fantastic scrap, at least for the first two rounds. The third one goes to Attic Bowie. But the first round will be the swing round. Joe, I assume you clearly gave round three to Attic Bowie, so you have him two rounds to one. Well, that first round, I'm giving a slight advantage to Attic Bowie. I'm giving Attic Bowie the third. So on my unofficial scorecard, I kind of have the round one, two, three to Attic Bowie. Round two, definitely going to Gudo. Well, Gudo Innocence told us he was in the best shape of his life, and in the second round, he, he looked the part. But round three, he just had nothing left. Yeah, he expended all of his energy in that second round, and he literally did not stop throwing for that whole second round. Did a lot of good damage, but he didn't have much left in that third round. Time. Well, the only man who has knocked out uh, Benjamin Attic Gudo in glory is our current world heavyweight champion, Rico Verhoeven. Gudo Innocence had him against the ropes, had him rattled, and was going for the kill, but just couldn't put the big, big guy down. No, he just needed that little bit of extra power, but he couldn't find it. He rocked Attic Bowie a few times, but just wasn't enough and just shows how tough and durable Attic Bowie is. All right, let's look at some highlights from this. Our heavyweight main event, Guto Innocence versus Benjamin Attic Bowie. Yeah, and there was that almost that double knockdown we saw early on in that fight. A lot of good exchanges back and forth in that first round. Second round, all Guto Innocence coming in with good combinations, constant pressure. And the way he came in, attacked the body, mixed up head punches, just a beautiful display. And that's probably the most output we've seen total and out of all of Gudo's fight. He matched it all in this second round, but he left all that energy there. Adegui recognized that, that he has to do a lot more in that third round. And this is where Adegui came out, started doing a better job at using his jabs, Landing in some of those low kicks and, and, and solid right hands. And Guda was lucky to stay up and survive because a knockdown in this round would have changed this fight totally. Here are the strike statistics. And you can see landed strikes in a sense with a 20 point advantage. And it all comes down to damage per round. And you got to remember, most of those strikes landed happened in that second round. So those first and third round make the difference. Tim Hughes has the numbers. Let's get our official decision. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here are the totals from our three ringside judges. They give us a split decision. They score this bout, 29-28, Adek Bui. 29-28, Innocent. And 29-28, for your winner by split decision, Guto Innocent! There you have it, a 12 to one underdog, Joe. Guto Innocence did enough damage in round one and round two to get the biggest win of his career. Yeah, that's a definitely a huge win for Guto Innocence being ranked number 10, and that definitely catapults him up the rankings. So Guto Innocence, what a night for him. He promised that he would be in the best shape of his life. He promised that he would look better than ever, and he did.